tilt motor on my Lexus LS 430 2001. I made a mistake by not replacing the small E clip at the end of the uh, tilt motor screw. It worked okay for about uh, two months, but eventually the screw uh, backed uh, through the nut and it came out and stripped the nut so the steering wheel was left in an upright position and would not tilt down at all. Here is the tilt nut that needs to be uh, replaced because this is where the motor goes into here and it's been stripping the gears when it came partially out. So to remove this piece right here, I have to take out this uh, holder right here. And the, basically the way you do, you have to pull it out. Uh, it doesn't screw and it pulls straight out. Uh, they make special tools for this, but I couldn't find one that fit the uh, Lexus very well, so I had to make my own. The tilt motor looks like when it's outside the car. So the E-clip that I mistakenly left off when I did my first repair. This is the tilt motor nut, and this is the pivot pin that goes into the side of the tilt motor nut to hold it in place. The tricky thing about the pivot pin is that it's not a regular bolt with threads. Uh, it basically just pushes straight in and pulls straight out when you're installing it or replacing it. So you need special tools to, in order to pull it out or push it back in. This is how I made my own homemade pivot uh, nut removal tool. I was not able to find anything on the internet that actually, actually matched my Lexus car. So the idea behind the pivot nut removal is you need to take a bolt of the right size. In my case it was a 6 millimeter uh, M6-1 a metric bolt. This has to be screwed into the pivot nut and basically you, you pull it out. And that's how the nut comes out. The way you do this is you um, first of all have to have something that will support it. I use this three-quarter inch um, uh, ratchet head. This goes over the pivot nut. This thing goes in here like this and basically pulls it out in this manner. What I needed to do was somehow keep this thing from, from falling inward. I first tried using a couple washers, a uh, small little washer and a big washer uh, like this together, but they tended to uh, bend and not be strong enough. So what I did finally, I took a very thick washer here, a big heavy duty washer, drilled a hole the correct size in the edge of it, put the bolt through that, put this through here, and now I've got a bolt that can go and engage the pivot nut uh, right here. Then what you do is after it's engaged, if you turn down this middle nut inward like this, just move this thing inward, it will gradually pull the nut out. You, hold, you stabilize the outer bolt you, you use a wrench to tighten this thing down and it will basically pull the pivot nut right out. So you just need to screw this into place right here. Get it started with my six millimeter metric screw. I've got it partially started already. Put this right here and just kind of engage it a little bit. got it finger tight right now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten down this inner uh, nut right here and that will gradually pull off the, um, the thing I want to get out. Right now this one is also moving, the main bolt is moving so I want to stabilize that with my wrench. and then I'll be able to keep on cranking this thing down and loosening it up. Okay, now it's now loose. 
pull it down and now this piece has been pulled off I'll unscrew it so you can see how it looks this piece used to be in here by using this technique I was able to pull it out now let's see if I can take this thing out and now this thing is out has a little brass bushing right here which I'll transfer to the new uh, unit to, in, to reinstall the uh, tilt nut with the pivot pins was somewhat difficult because it's very hard to push the pins back in this is the uh, tilt steering pivot nut uh, this is what uh, had the stripped threads this is the um, hole in which the uh, tilt motor screw goes into and when the screw backed out enough to disengage it, it stripped all these threads. This is the part I had to replace. The problem was it was held in place with two pivot um, nuts that had to be extracted and then I had to push them back in to get them back into place. And pushing them back in was the uh, difficult part. I tried several different techniques. I tried using a, a punch with a hammer by pounding it in. I could kind of get one side in, but I couldn't get the um, other side in because it was too far in, didn't have the right angle. I tried a pair of pliers like this to pull it in. I could reach the right distance, but I couldn't get enough force to actually push the pin in. I also tried a C-clamp, uh, but again, this part was too far in, I couldn't get the right angle to have this thing pinched down. I also tried a wood working clamp like this to try to squeeze it together and uh, even tried a drill press clamp uh, like this to try to get in there and see if that would work to squeeze it down. Uh, none of these techniques worked. I couldn't get enough force on it. I tried to find something on the internet that would work and finally I decided to build my own tool. Uh, this is the tool in its final form. It has two bolts here and uh, a nut right here so I basically put this thing into position like this and then by tightening down from one side it'll put a lot of force and squeeze this thing together and basically push the pins in that way this is what finally worked homemade uh, tool uh, made out of strips of metal this is a closer view of the tool in its final form this was basically a three foot long piece of metal I bought at Home Depot I cut into six inch strips I drilled holes on, in two different spots and I got 5 16 bolts to go through here uh, with the nuts. So this is how it actually uh, looks when I built it. This is the uh, pivot pin here that holds up the nut that the tilt motor screws into. This was the part I replaced before right here. And in the process of removing this nut, uh, this little bolt right here, I had to push it back in. The problem I had was there's no good way to get enough force to push this thing in uh, directly because the angle was not right to pound it in. So this is the uh, tool I invented right here. It's kind of like a, a vise. It has up some plates of metal. They're real strong, a couple bolts. So what I did was I put the this thing here just the right size got it in on both sides like this and then I tightened down this nut right here with the wrench and that was able to squeeze this together and push both of them in together that was the uh, only way I could find to uh, push those two bolts in uh, effectively